Today's learning target is I can identify if a sentence is a fragment or a complete sentence. Have you ever been walking along sandy beach and found a piece of a plate or a bowl? If you found a piece like this, would you start using it as a bowl? No, it wouldn't work. Why? Well, because it's a fragment. A fragment is a small piece of something bigger. For example, a fragment of clothing is just a small piece of the bigger piece of clothing. A fragment of a puzzle is a small part of the whole puzzle. In this case, a fragment of shell is missing from the bigger piece of shell. A fragment of a tire is just a little bit of the tire. And, by the way, the tire wouldn't work if it were just a fragment. A fragment of a cookie is, Hey, who ate my cookie? Take a moment and think about this. What is something you could call a fragment? Here, whisper it into my ear, and you can use this sentence frame if it helps you. A fragment of a blank is a blank. I'm having a hard time hearing, so hopefully you came up with a good example of a fragment. Well, guess what else can be a fragment? A sentence. Yes, a sentence can be broken into little bits, and without all its parts, it just doesn't work. You need a subject and a verb. The subject is who or what the sentence is mostly about. It's usually a noun. And a verb, as you know, shows action. And the order is important. They will almost always have the subject first, then the action verb. So watch for that. Noun, then verb. If it's missing the subject, or if it's missing the verb, or it's in the wrong order, it's a sentence fragment. And it just doesn't work. Take a look at this example. A happy puppy. Is there a subject? Noun? Yeah, puppy. Is there an action verb? No, no action verb. Happy isn't a verb. You can't happy. You can be happy, but then the word be is the verb, and be is not in this sentence. This is a fragment. Here's another tricky one. Is this a complete sentence or just a fragment? Skipping down the road. We need to be careful. There is a noun here, road, but the noun is not the subject. It's after the verb. Is there a subject? No, skipping is the action verb, but there's no subject. This is a fragment. Remember, if it's missing the subject or the verb, it is likely just a fragment. Woo, these are hard, but let's try another one. The boy sat in the classroom. Let's ask our questions. Is there a subject? Yes, the boy. Was there an action verb about the subject? Yes, he sat. Huh, it has both parts. This is a complete sentence. Our next practice sentence is the yellow hat. Here come our two questions again. Is there a subject? Yes, hat. Is there an action verb? No, yellow isn't an action word and there are no other verbs. This is a fragment. The hat isn't doing anything. I know, this is challenging, but you're gonna figure out quickly. You're just new at this. I'll give you a few more and then you can go practice in IXL. Is this a complete sentence? or a fragment of a sentence. Shouted her name.
If you said it was a fragment, you're correct. It's missing a subject. She knocked on the door. Fragment or complete sentence? There is a subject, she, and a verb, knocked. She knocked. That's all we need. Sentence complete. Picked up the coin. Fragment or complete sentence? Since we don't know who or what picked up the coin, we have a fragment of a sentence. The subject is missing. Last one. These shiny shoes. Fragment or complete sentence? We don't know what these shiny shoes are doing. We're missing the verb. This is a fragment. Our learning target today is I can identify if a sentence is a fragment or complete sentence. You may be feeling that this is hard, and that's okay, because after a little practice, it's going to come naturally, and you can do this. So get practicing, and have a very good day.